Hmm, I'm only $5 away from free shipping? Well, if I have to pay for it anyway, then I might as well just add another shirt, right? Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right, so in this video, we're adding a free shipping progress bar to our cart. But before we start, I just wanted to thank you guys for the recommendation. And if you want to see your customization in a future video, prompt us in the comments below. All right, let's customize. So the customization we're doing today is the free shipping progress bar, which is this right here. So if we add one more item, it's gonna say we've unlocked free shipping. You take it away, it'll tell us how far away we are from the free shipping. And so you can see here that um, it's at the top of this drawer cart, but there's a couple different ways you can actually show the cart. So one is the drawer, um, the other one is with a page. And so if we go to our theme editor, and you go to your theme settings, you can change the uh, the cart, if you go to this cart section here, to something else. So for example, if you do page or pop-up not notification, it takes us to a page. So let's, let's do the pop-up notification because it actually shows both. And we come back and refresh. So if I add another item to cart, that's the pop-up there. And if we say view cart, or if you hit that button there, um, it'll take us to the cart page. And again, if we change the quantity, it'll show us how far away we are from free shipping. If we reach the threshold, it'll tell us we've reached free shipping. And so that's what we're doing today. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to jump into the theme editor and we're going to edit a little bit of code. Now, don't worry if you don't know how to code. Uh, I'm going to give you all the steps you need to do this. Before you start though, make sure you make a duplicate of your theme just in case anything goes wrong you can always go back to your old version. And so, so this is the theme that we're working on. Um, we've refreshed the page. Uh, you can see that there's no more progress bar here. And so we're going to add that back in. So the first step is you go and edit code. And so um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a new snippet. And so you can come to the snippets area, add new snippet. We're going to call this cart progress bar custom and we're going to click done and so here we're just going to copy and paste the code and hit save so that's simple enough um, and we can move on to the next file so the second file we're going to work with is called the settings schema okay and so here we're going to be looking for the settings for the cart. And so if we scroll to the very bottom, you're going to see here that there's a, a settings for the cart. If it's not at the bottom for you, you can just kind of look for it, control F, and then search for cart. Uh, for us, this is where it is. And so what we're going to do is we're going to extend the settings. We're going to add additional settings to what's already there. And so we'll just create a little bit of spacing here, add a comma to the very last one you got there, and paste the, this additional uh, code. And that's it for the settings file. Um, so now we're going to move on to do some JavaScript. So we're looking for the cart.js file. This one right here. And here we're going to scroll to the uh, maybe three quarters down. Um, right here, so update quantity. So this method is going to be changed a little bit. So if we come to this line right here, publish, we're gonna create a couple lines above it and we're going to add this code right here. And then just below where the method ends and before the, first, the next one begins, we're going to copy and paste this update progress bar method here because we're referencing it um, in this uh, right here. So we're, we're calling this new method that we just pasted in here. So we're gonna save that and we're almost done. A Couple more lines of code to add and we are finished. So next we're going to the main-cart-items.liquid file. So this is the file that controls the cart page. Um, and so we're going to uh, come to this area right here where it says uh, just above cart warnings. I'm going to create some space there. 
and we're going to copy and paste these few lines of code right there. And so this is just calling the uh, the liquid file that we just created at the very beginning, right? And so this is going to show the progress bar onto the cart page. So that's what this code is for. So we're going to save that. And then last step, we're going to go to cart drawer. And we're going to scroll down a little bit um, until we find the cart drawer items line right here. Create some space again. And we're going to paste this file right here, which again is going to be showing the progress bar on our drawer cart. So we're going to save that. And now, when so, so now we don't have the progress bar, but if we refresh, we're going to see it show up. And there we go. So now we can update our quantities. Um, and now we're below the threshold so that uh, it'll tell us how far away we are. And if we add another one, it'll tell us we've unlocked free shipping. And so if we go into our uh, theme settings and then go to the settings, uh, and scroll down to the cart. We can change this to the page. And if we refresh and come to the page, again, that's we can see it there. So we're going to move back and make this a drawer again. Refresh. OK, so we've got our drawer now. So what if we want to make a couple changes? Let's say you want to change the color of the bar. You want to change the text here. Or you even want to change where the threshold is, right? So right now it's set to uh, 49. And um, once we hit $50, we've unlocked free shipping. So what if you want to change any of those? Well, the uh, edits that we made earlier into the settings schema helps us do exactly that. So let's go back to our cart settings and scroll down a little bit. And you can see this new section here, cart progress bar settings. And you've got these four options here. So you've got the threshold. So right now it's 49. Let's say we change it to 99. Um, the message, so you can actually change the message you want. Um, so right now it says free shipping. Let's say it's a giveaway instead. Like you get a free gift um, if you reach $99. So we can say free gift. And uh, same thing with the post goal message. Let's say you can say, OK, you've achieved the free gift. And we want to change the color to, I don't know, some uh, something like this. Then if we save and refresh, there we go, right? So we are $49 away from the free gift, which is 99. So we have to add two more shirts to get to that 100. We, it, well, it says free gift, and we've changed the color of the bar. So that's how you can customize it to make it your own, help it match your own theme. Um, the only thing uh, you need to watch out for when you're going to make uh, these edits is this uh, remaining for goal formatted. So this little uh, variable here is what's being used to uh, for the code to figure out um, where, the, where the actual calculation needs to go. Right, so that's this number right here. Um, if you don't, if you remove that uh, that variable, then that won't show. So make sure to keep that in there. All right, so that's it. We've updated our theme code so that we have a free shipping progress bar on your drawer cart and cart page. As always, if anything didn't make sense, just let me know and I'll clear that up. And of course, if you want to see a customization, add it below. That's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.